Happy New Year! One of my New Year's resolutions is to get better at pull-ups. If you have similar goals or you just want to achieve your first pull-up this year, then listen in. I want to share with you a few things I'll be trying out this year to help me achieve my goal. First of all, I want to feel comfortable just hanging on the bar. Increasing the time I can comfortably hang on the bar has numerous benefits which I'll talk about further along in this video. I've actually never tested how long I can dead hang for, but personally I think I'd be happy with anything above one minute. But first, let me go through the story of how I've got here. Only a few months ago, I was doing pull-ups holding a 10 kilogram dumbbell between my legs. Up until now, progressive overload, holding extra weight while doing pull-ups has really helped increase my amount of reps. It always makes body weight pull-ups feel so much faster and lighter. Pull-ups had been my favorite calisthenics move until now. Earlier this year, I had got a PR, a personal record of 12 consecutive pull-ups. Of course, this hadn't been filmed, love that for myself, but you're just gonna have to take my word. And by now I'd learnt lots of little hacks like kicking off your sandals because they obviously weigh 100 kilograms and are stopping me from getting 50 reps in a row. I wish. In the summer life felt good. I was getting 10 pull-ups consecutively in most of my sessions and I was aiming to beat my personal best and increase my strength overall in all my calisthenics moves. But the past few months have been pretty bad for no apparent reason. At the end of the summer of 2023, I started to plateau. I had attended various workshops and started training outside with the calisthenics community and it was all fun. But I noticed that I just really wasn't going anywhere. Not only did I not feel my hard work was paying off, but I actually felt I was decreasing in strength. I gave myself a few weeks off having deload weeks and I even started to resent doing pull-ups altogether. Over the next few months, I scrapped my training routine and just went back to playing around with the calisthenics equipment and feeling like I was a child again, hanging upside down and trying and exploring different movements. I came in like a wrecking ball. The new year's given me a new burst of motivation, so I really wanna try this year to get stronger. I'm gonna start off by targeting my pull-up endurance. I'm gonna work on this by increasing the length of time I can hang on a bar. Hanging challenge. I decided that I wanted to increase my hanging time, which as a byproduct will increase my grip strength to help me with pull-ups. But you don't need to even be able to do a pull-up. You as well can join me in this challenge. When I first wanted to learn to do a pull-up, even hanging on the bar was challenging. Doing this exercise to progress eventually to a dead hang really helped me. If you can't hang on the bar already, or you feel like you're um, your hands are slipping, which is how I feel when I know I've only got like 10 seconds left in me, then it's worth holding onto a bar where you can still touch the floor or having like a stool or something and then gradually shifting your weight from the from standing on the stool to um, hanging on the bar little by little. To increase your grip strength and be able to hang on for longer, you don't always have to fight for gravity even though it has quite a lot of benefits. You can do farmer's walks, so carrying heavy objects or carrying heavy things like your shopping, which I tend to struggle with, I always struggled, or um, just walking up and down, you know, your gym or at home if you do have some, some dumbbells, they can be, you know, anything, just having dumbbells by your, by your hands and walking up and down will also increase the, the grip. This room is actually slanted, so if I put like, oh do we have like a round thing? I was gonna show you, if I, if I put like a tennis ball um, on that side of the room, it will literally roll to the other side of the room. Right, let's get started, see where I'm at. I'm gonna put a voiceover on this because I listen to, um, I listen to one song, I had to stand. I listen to one song, you know, um, do you remember that one in the 90s? I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da. I don't know why, that's like on loop, living rent free in my head, going over and over. So that's the song I put on, so I'll, I'll mute that for everybody's ears. <laughs>
When I was actually hanging there, as you can see from most of my videos, I genuinely feel I could hang longer if I was allowed to do like a little cheeky pull up halfway through, um, like, or like every 20 seconds. That it's worse because when you do, if you can imagine doing a pull up, you're using different muscles as you're going up and down, so it, it relieves some tension, but like just hanging, even though it's so passive, because you're just using the same muscles, unless you're strong enough to hold with one arm sometimes, and I can do that once, but I was scared I was gonna slip, because my right arm is stronger, so I can hold and give my left arm a rest, but then my right arm is never resting, so what's the point? You're not pushing or pulling, it's just... Ugh. In general, our lives are quite far removed now from doing any exertion or physical effort and we tend to do it deliberately. And we pay a fee so that you can travel outside somewhere to a little room with other strangers picking up inanimate heavy objects and putting them down. And we call that exercise. Here are some other hanging exercises that you can do that I definitely don't do enough of and that can increase your pull-up strength and your endurance to hang. So the one on the right I never do and I'm gonna to start to do, which is holding a free weight and stopping at different points of the pull-up to strengthen those weaker points, possibly in the middle where we tend to fail on our last rep. When I feel I can't do any more pull-ups in my set, I'm gonna incorporate just hanging for however long I want before I let go of the bar. and picking heavy objects is all well and good, but an added benefit that you get from hanging from a bar is you're fighting gravity. So if you're fighting gravity and just hanging, your body weight decompresses your spine. And for some of us that are not blessed with height, such as myself, it almost stretches the spine. And for a few hours of, a day, of the day, if I learn to sit up properly, I can actually become a little bit taller. As we walk around through the day and we spend most of the time standing up, then gravity will work on us and compress that spine again a little bit and you'll probably lose those extra centimetres you've got from hanging on the bar, but you know, it's, it's worth it. I want to do my handstands better, so at the moment I can balance, but um, I find it very difficult opening my shoulders. When we talk about opening our shoulders, we mean this particular movement. I can even show you with the uh, loose t-shirt. It's putting your arms above your head, covering your ears, but not doing this arching your back. And so people who can really open their shoulders, you see this when they do bridges, looks so beautiful. They can even have straight arms and put their arms like all the way back without curving their spine to make up for the open shoulders. And at the moment I can't do that. My spine is curved as I, as I lean my arms to, uh, behind me. Using the ladder in the calisthenics parks is also really good because it forces you to open your shoulders from the horizontal bars that it has. Gravity is working down, pushing my body down, and little by little it would hopefully help open in those shoulders that I'm talking about and allow me to directly hang or even do a handstand without compensating by arching my back and becoming, I don't, I don't know if lordosis is a noun or verb, and becoming lordosis? and having lordosis, which is that move that you see a lot of like um, Insta girls do on Instagram where they stick their butts out, that's lordosis of the spine. Um, and we don't want that. We want to remove that in handstands and something like hanging will help. Slouching. We tend to do that a lot with our desk jobs. I don't know what the percentage is, but I think a very high percentage now, regardless of whether you live in cities or the countryside now, because there's less of us working in agriculture and, and active jobs, um, so a lot of us now are sitting on chairs and so when you do that um, Not only do we slouch our backs, but we can also find that we get a lot of asymmetry from leaning on one particular side Like we're leaning on the desk um, That can also Cause problems and eventually that may lead to things like back pain the shoulder pain and I guess because we're not spending a lot of our day-to-day -day anymore hanging off branches and hanging off trees if you think of our most common ancestor that is the bonobo monkey and the chimpanzee and they spend a lot of the time hanging on branches as well as obviously scavenging for food etc and so we're not using those muscle muscles as much as we'd like in our modern day lives and therefore it doesn't really help our our backs and bodies i'm starting to slouch even when i'm doing this video okay sit up straight come on 
Hanging is so underrated. It can also help to build all the muscles of the upper body. So we're talking, you know, your biceps, your triceps, even your delts and your lats from your back as well. The forearms. I have, I don't even know how to um, contract my forearms so you can see it. There's nothing going on there, guys. Nothing going on. Um, as much as I love doing my pull-ups for ages, I am terrible at anything like rock climbing. I don't tend to enjoy it or bouldering. I really don't like it. It's not for me. But I'll always try it. I feel grip strength is easy to neglect in your workouts, but it's easy to improve it if you want to incorporate it in your workouts. I don't want to put any pressure on myself. I don't have a specific time I'm aiming for in terms of um, how long I want to be able to hang on the bar. This is a little challenge that I've set for myself. Me v me. Me in the past v me in the future. And it's a really short term experiment. I want to see if there is any improvement within a week. And I thought I'd share the results. There are a few variables that we need to take into account apart from the obvious things like did you sleep well the night before, are you fatigued from your training, etc, etc. I feel that um, this has been, just hanging on the bar has been like the most brutal thing for my calluses. It sort of just rips the skin as they go down and I can't help but pick at it. So that makes it really difficult as well. So even if I feel strong, like just the kind of sharp, kind of cutty pain that you feel um, on the hands, doesn't really help. This just looks like I'm gonna go to a rock concert. ACDC's groupie. Ice climbers, any kind of like mountain rescuers or anyone who's into bouldering, they can hang for really long periods of time. And it's interesting to see their body composition because they're really lean individuals, but obviously have low levels of body fat, but quite high levels of muscle to sustain their body weight in that manner. Individuals are very, very strong, but don't necessarily look like the strongest people on earth. So they can hold quite a lot of lean muscle on their physique but they still look quite lean and I quite like that look. This is why I really enjoy calisthenics because even though of course you can do calisthenics weighted, so a few of my um, hanging attempts are when I'm holding dumbbells um, between my legs. Weighted obviously makes them harder, but also maximizes the benefits that we spoke about like decompressing the spine and ensuring that shoulder mobility. When hanging, I squeeze my inner thighs so I can hold the dumbbell and also tense my core so I can avoid swinging. Shoulder shrugs are also great to avoid fatigue. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a cheeky little like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments if you've tried this challenge before to know how long you could hang. Moral of the story is I'm going to try to add a hang every day if I can. And also visit random abandoned playgrounds.